Okay, hi everybody. Uh, just did a quick process video here. Uh, I'm not doing any video myself. I'm just going to kind of time lapse through uh, vectorizing this character that I drew for the 100 day art challenge. Um, I drew this guy uh, with an eye towards making a, a very robust uh, vector puppet rig using joysticks and sliders and some other plugins. Um, so it's kind of a lot of like simple shapes, clean lines. Um, so you can see here I'm just going through organizing the layers and drawing all these different body parts. Um, you'll kind of notice um, that I'm trying a lot of different things out here. I didn't just go through and get it in one. I, I, I messed with this uh, a lot and tried a lot of different things here. For example, um, with the eyes, uh, I was kind of initially going for sort of like an iguana look, like they kind of were these cone shapes that protrude, um, but you'll see in a minute that I, I found that that wouldn't actually work. I really wanted a nice, hard, simple shadow on the face to utilize joysticks and sliders. Yeah, so working on the eyes here, trying out some of those iguana textures. Um, one thing I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to uh, use a few different techniques on this same character. So I'll do this one, and I'll do a frame by frame as well of just like a walk cycle or something. Um, I'm just at a point where I, I kind of want to feel out some different techniques and see what's going to work for, for uh, narrative work uh, once, once I get into that um, in the near future here. So kind of using also trying to play with different stroke widths, different stroke profiles to give the shading and the shape um, not only different shapes and we'll see how that translates into the After Effects puppet once I, put, once I take this Illustrator file and bring this into After Effects. I think that whole torso is going to kind of uh, tilt along with the joystick as well. Um, and I'll show you guys all about that on the next video. So you see here too, I'm adjusting what I'm actually doing with that arm. It has to actually exist kind of behind there, sort of testing it out, seeing what's going to work. Don't want to be like overdoing it with the shadows because uh, there, there won't really be consistent lighting with this character, just given the nature of a vector puppet. Um, so you don't want it to be too specific. You want it to be able to work in a variety of scenarios, um, but still be there enough to define the shapes and forms. Uh, went with really simple hands, you can see. Um, didn't want to, you know, for the purposes of this test, um, didn't really feel like doing a very complex hand rig. This knee I really struggled with, just to decide on what I wanted and what was going to work. You can kind of see me going through a bunch of different um, processes a bunch of different like arrangements are there different layers that the upper leg and lower leg and yeah I kind of settled on that really knobbly round knee as a joint to build everything around sort of followed that with the elbows as well yep and then you're just refining everything pretty much done at this point okay there we go so that's it for this week um, just real simple uh, I might actually get on camera next week once I get things a little more situated in my new office um, but uh, that's what we got for now, and thanks for tuning in.